what's going on guys how's everybody doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking the body beat down here on this new year's day one one twenty four never thought i'd live long enough to see this day i'll be honest so um sitting here it's 2 43 p.m uh not too much longer and i'll be having to do my workout but i've been sitting here thinking and i wanted to kind of do a video uh touching on my deadlift progression and uh, the struggles and uh, the success and the defeats and all that that I had along the way. So I started working out somewhere along the lines, whenever I came back to working out, somewhere along the lines of maybe April of 2021. And uh, the video that, that I'm going to talk about uh, in this video really is uh, from 2-12-22. So uh, I'd already been working out for a little while, but I don't know, I, I, I forgot to kind of look back and uh, see when I really started pushing for my deadlifts. But this, this one kind of just stuck out to me as I was watching it. And uh, we're gonna watch a couple of clips. And uh, uh, the one thing I can, I can say is uh, I never gave up. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of videos if you go to my playlist and you go to deads only or deadlifts only whatever it's called and you go to my playlist and look at that and you go back to the oldest video to the newest there's a lot of there's a lot of videos to go through and it was somewhere around the mark of maybe 440 uh, probably somewhere in there uh, 440 pounds once I, once I finally got to there uh, where I finally was making you know uh, making it aware on the videos that I'm probably not gonna get past this I'm okay if I'm here uh, I'm probably not following you know I'm not gonna make it to my 500 pound crazy you know long-term goal I just don't feel like I'm gonna make it so there was countless videos where I was mentioning that and even on other videos, if I if I got in a discussion, I'd bring it up. So there's been a lot of discussion in the past of, well, I'm done. Well, I'm done. I can't make it. I feel like I'm stuck. I'm okay here. I'm happy here. But the fact of the matter is, uh, I wasn't. And uh, I kept fighting. I kept pushing forward. I kept trying to do something a you know a little different. Uh, maybe get on higher reps, you know, and pushing myself there. Or, starting to do the uh, elevated deadlifts that you see me do and i really push for those because i believe those have helped me get a long way and uh doing those and using powder uh it propelled me uh quicker than anything i think has ever propelled me <laughs> uh, and that's no lie uh, once i started using powder it was game on so, kind of, kind of going back again. Uh, I watched this video from two twelve twenty two, and uh, we're gonna watch a clip here, uh, if I if I can. Where do where do I want to go? Do I want over here? Do I want the clip to be here? Do I want to? Yeah, let's do it over here. So, as you'll notice, number one, I'm wearing shoes, and number two, uh, I talk about. How much weight I'm doing in this video, leading up to this point in the video, I'm not I'm not including the bar. I wasn't sure if I wanted to include the bar with my lifts or not. wasn't sure how I felt about it, but uh, definitely you're supposed to include the weight of the bar. So what you're seeing at this point is a 365 deadlift, one rep max. That's crazy. Looking back at that and thinking, man, I was really struggling with 365 pounds. You'll also notice that I'm also thinner in the video. I was losing weight at that point because uh, I really started tightening up my diet and stuff. And then I started eating like one more little thing a day and put on weight. So that's all it takes with me. I have a very slow metabolism or whatever it might be that just makes you really put on weight with ease. So me dropping weight doesn't last long. It happened whenever I started cycling uh, back in 2000, uh, February 2016. I started dropping weight and then instantly started putting it all right back on. 
So I don't lose weight long. Well, whenever it's just it's my body goes into shock. <laughs> so anyway, as you notice, the 365 for one was a struggle. That's pretty much how I would do 455 now. Now we're going to look at a clip where I go up 20 pounds to 385. And in this clip, you're going to notice I don't pull 385. And again, that kind of blows my mind because, you know, that's not a lot of weight. It really ain't a lot of weight. But at the same time, my technique wasn't perfected. My frame of mind wasn't perfected. My goals weren't perfected. I'm wearing shoes like a big dummy. You don't wear shoes. Not that that totally changed it, but still. Shoes, socks, or a flat, completely flat uh, shoe of some sort. Preferably bar uh, barefoot or socks. But I noticed that you know, all these things about this, about watching this video, and it's crazy how I progressed. And, you know, uh, even looking, once I got into my 440s and 450s and all that, where I was at for so long, you know, and how hard I was kind of being on myself at the time, uh, looking back now and seeing that this was, 212.22 and within that amount of time, three, let's see, 212.23. So you, I guess it's been a while, but the, the progression that I made from 212.22 to 212.23 is still significant. It took a long time. It did take a long time. And then I look at you know, 212.23 to where I'm at now, and I just hit my PR, my final goal of 500 pounds on New Year's Eve. So you see how long it took me to go from pulling 365 to 500. It took a long time. I'm not going to try and figure out the months, guys. Almost two years. It took me almost, if I'm not mistaken, no, not eight, two, two years. I don't know. He figured out. I'm bad with that stuff. But that is a testament to how much hard work and determination, consistency, persistency, it, the, it takes to get something like this for some of us. Some people could start lifting and be at 400 pounds in a week and 500 pounds within six months. You know, I mean, it, it just it depends on person to person, and it don't matter about your gender. I've seen 12-year-old girls pull this kind of weight, so uh, that don't matter. Uh, anyway, so it's really interesting to look back and see where you come from, and, you know, it shows you not to give up because there was plenty of times in that whole stretch that I could have given up and I was ready to. I was content, sort of. I was trying to convince myself I was content with not reaching my goal. But I wasn't deep inside. I didn't feel like I was proud. So uh, continuing that, that fight on my deadlifts paid off. And uh, hitting 500 pounds on uh, New Year's Eve 2023 was uh, quite the accomplishment. And it's going to take that kind of determination and work uh, to reach other goals in the gym. Uh, again, I'm going for a 400-pound bench. I expect to get it in 2024. There's no reason I shouldn't, you know, as long as I can stay on track, and uh, which sometimes isn't easy. But, uh, and, and that goes for anything in life. You can't give up because uh, the moment you give up, it's done. You know, you're finished. There is no what ifs. You, you can't go back and what ifs. And you don't know if you would have tried that extra day at something, you might have succeeded. So uh, that's why working out is important, not just for your health, 
uh, but it's important for your everyday life because it teaches you life lessons. Uh, and that's why sports and other activities like that are good for youth, for little children, because it teaches them that same work ethic, uh, determination, and uh, setting goals for themselves and succeeding into later in life. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of look back with everyone on uh, this video. And again, I could have put a million clips in here from a million other deadlift videos of mine, but I didn't feel like doing that. That's a lot of work. And uh, I got stuff to do, like stuff and things. So, but this one just kind of hit me and I wanted to share that with you. And uh, anyway, so I hope you get a little something out of this video, uh, a little bit of uh, push and uh, a little inspiration to keep going throughout your day, your week, your month, your year. And if you find something helpful uh, in my videos like that, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. That's me, Michael, your goal reaching host. And uh, we have more goals to reach in 2024. And uh, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to keep pushing and we're going to do it. All right. So stick with me. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beatdown. Happy uh, New Year and good luck in 2024. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!